All right, in this video, I'm gonna discuss some helpful tips on weight loss based on the experiences shared by our clients. So I sent out an email Monday, I asked people what has worked for them and what has gotten in the way. So one of our clients, Barbara, shared her successful weight loss strategies while she also shared the challenges that she faces that create a fall off for her. So Barbara said, what's helped her to lose weight in the past is consistency. When she watches her coffee intake and she drinks more water. When she watches her sugar slash carb intake and she keeps them below 100 grams per day. And also when she increases her daily step count. So obviously Barbara is a current member and she's done our Kickstart Challenge and she's realizing that working out every single day and cleaning up the junk food and walking more and drinking more water are going to lead to a result. So my response to Barbara's success is that number one, don't be afraid of sugar or carbs. In fact, your body and your brain need carbs. So it's not a matter of the types of carbs that you're eating, it's amount of total calories that you're consuming. So if you go and have a piece of cake and that's all you ate for the day, yet you worked out three times in that day, I guarantee if you ate cake for a week, and you worked out seven days a week where you burnt like 1,500 calories and your total calories on the day was like 3,000 calories, but yet you only ate 500 calories, you're still gonna lose weight. So it's not a matter of the type of carb, it's just the amount of total calories that you're consuming, which is going to create a weight gain or weight loss situation. Now, one of my clients, she was struggling to lose weight even after her diet and workouts were on point, but one of the things that we worked on and we realized is that she lacked movement. So Barbara's got it right where she's saying that she's getting more steps. And this client that I worked with, she was losing weight because she was doing everything else right. It just wasn't happening like we expected it to. And so we assessed and we realized that she was only getting about six to 7,000 steps a day. So that means that her non-exercise related calorie burn was really low. So she was burning like five, 600 calories in the workout and she was eating in a caloric deficit, but then she wasn't burning enough calories throughout the day. And so for you, what does that mean? Is yes, it's great that you're working out and you're tracking your food, but at the same time, you have to create more body movement. I know today is a really busy day for me and I know we get locked into meetings and content shooting or whatever it is, but either way, if you have time in between meetings, if you gotta go to the washroom, really just try and get yourself moving so that you create a more of a non-exercise related caloric burn, which is gonna help you to decrease your body weight or your body fat. Now, Barbara also mentioned what makes her fall off is lack of support that she has long work days and that at the end of the day, she's really tired and she loses motivation to work out and she's also has a lot of stress around her. Now, for me, I would tell you that if you struggle with late night or after work workouts, then you've honestly gotta change the way that you eat, sleep, and breathe. You gotta start going to bed earlier so you're getting adequate amounts of sleep, this is obvious, but then you need to start waking up earlier and you have to start making your body a early riser. Now, when I was forcing myself to get up at 5 a.m. during the COVID times, and I decided that during COVID times, I wasn't gonna give myself a break. I actually wanted to push harder and get more work done because I knew when everything was passed that if I worked my ass off in those times, that my business would succeed, and I'll tell you this, it is. And I definitely contributed to the hard work that I put in during the COVID. So to get up at 5 a.m. when you have no work to go to, and you have nowhere to be until like later in the day was a very difficult challenge for me. And it's probably a difficult challenge for you. You might not consider yourself an early morning riser and most people aren't. So what you need to do is completely shock your system. So you go to bed early, which is tough because it does take a lot for you to shut the TV off and shut your phone off and go to bed early. But if you really wanna shell shock your body first thing in the morning, here's a couple methods that I did. Number one was the easiest one where I just put the cold water on in the sink, and I just put my face under there and just get that cold in the hair and everything. That's a good way to wake you up. Number two, start your day off with a mantra. Like I always argh, give myself a big stretch. I don't yell or anything, but it's just something that just kind of puts this energizer through my body. Number three is the cold shower. And so you don't want to waste water, but you get into the shower, 
you, you hype yourself up, you stand underneath the shower and you crank it. And remember that water that's sitting in those pipes is cold. So as soon as that water hits you, you're just like, and you're just wiping yourself off. And even doing this, this is a way to wake your body up. But I'm telling you, make yourself an early riser. This way, by the time the end of the day comes around, you don't have any lack of motivation and your workout is already done. And so even if you have stress throughout the day at 5 a.m., nobody's waking up to bother you, okay? So that's your time and you're able to dedicate it to your workouts and getting yourself out of bed. I want everybody to remember that weight loss is not a one size fits all approach, but by incorporating these tips and finding what works for you, you can achieve your goals. So don't give up, stay committed to your health and wellness journey. Also, give the video a like, Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you're <laughs> down to do the cold shower challenge and make sure to stay tuned for the next video of your fittest year yet.